All right, everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do our lineup construction video for the uh, League of Legends LCK slate. Uh, again, we're going to post this just after lock, but we're making these lineups now. Uh, just full disclosure, um, it's possible that there's some sub substitution that uh, um, affects our lineups, but unfortunately, that's just the risk you take when uh, you go with me in these things. I'm just not going to stay up till four in the morning for this. Um, and just run the risk that we get subbed, and that's just the way it is. Um, doesn't look like there's a lot of sub risk though today, but you never know. So you have two big favorites again. Uh, Hanwha Life is an enormous favorite, like was it 30 to one or something like that against uh Fred Abreon, and then you have uh Damon Kia, pretty sizable three and a half to one favorite over uh Fear X. So look. As usual with these two game slates, uh, it's it's very very tempting to just go ahead and play the chalk. I mean, to play Hanma Life with Don Wakia, and you can do that. But but if you do that, you're just going to run the risk of being just so mega duped that it's just not even worth it. Um, so the way you can do this, if you, if you do want to play the favorites, is you just have to mess with the construction just a little bit, whether it be playing a four two one playing kind of a weird looking four three. I mean, you could do that. Um, but you certainly can't play what rate to be the best plays um, just because they're going to be duped like 45 times or something like that. So that's just the way you have to play these two game slates if you're going to play at all. Um, so let's just take a look. So when we just build our lineups normally, like for example, um, what was I going to say? Um and you just run 40 lineups, It's you're always going to get this when you have these two big favorites. You know, your, your top-rated lineups are going to be Hanma Life and, and Don Juan Kia. Uh, I guess what's interesting is to see if you're going to get any non-4-3s. And no, your top 40 lineups, if you don't sim this out, is just going to be 40 uh, Hanma Life against against uh, Don Juan Kia. Uh, that's just it. Um, so uh, you have to kind of screw around a little bit. Uh, the, the first thing I wanted to say is that I want to start applying this aggregate, um, this aggregate metric here, where we can track what happens to our um, scores when we kind of screw around. Like, so right now your average projection is six hundred and fifty-four um, of these forty, but if you start messing around it could change things a little bit, okay? So we, we keep this to kind of, you know, keep us in check for when we, you know, do some sort of funny business. So like, for example, if we just were going to just do the min uniques game and just keep doing that until we get some different exposures, like here, like it, it takes you to min uniques three, then you're at least getting some Fear X and even one or two uh, Fred Brion's. Um, but you're seeing your average projection is down significantly to 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 585 from 654. Um, now, I, I still think that's actually okay, considering how on how, how how much more duped the you know the higher projected lineups are going to be. But it's just again something to keep an eye on as we kind of screw around. So let's um let's do a sim and see if they that can't kind of get us off of this un. In the absence of that, we are going to probably do something with geomean filtering. There's another thing that I want to kind of, um, oh, what's this one? Uh, there's another thing that I want to explore uh, with, with Hanwha Life, which we're going to get to in a minute. But let's put our sim settings in again, as usual. Uh, for the Triumphant Warrior, we have to do this one manually. And then payout structure. Uh, actually, we're going to do the same as the shock blast, except with um, like 15, 16 entries or something like that. Oh, so we'll do custom. Sorry. So like 16 entries, same same other thing. So we're going to run the sim and see if we what, what happens to this. And as we do this, let's remind ourselves how many are in this. 1568. We'll remember this when we do our geomean filtering, 1568. So when we send this out, I don't think it's going to be too much of a difference. 
yeah well you're you're fine you're getting at least one lineup with with fear x and then if you go to min uniques too this so you're getting a little bit better the min uniques three you yeah now you're really costing yourself an average projection so um we can do this but again you're just kind of asking for it what is interesting i guess is you're going to get 20% of these lineups being 4-2, which is kind of cool. Um, the thing I wanted to stress is is Doran in the top position. Because as I mentioned in an earlier video, I mean, he really seems to cash as a one-off more than a lot of people, <laughs> more than a lot of players. So if you did want to play some 4-2s or something with like a Doran one-off or something like that, uh, that would make sense. But the problem is that Doran one-off isn't going to work because, I mean, they're going to win. You know, they're like a 20 to one favorite. Right? So, so, and what you could do is make sure you put Doran in the captain for a decent amount. So that's definitely something that you, that you can accomplish. So before we do anything, let, let, let's, let's do that. Let's make sure we get at least 30% Doran in the captain, I guess. And again, I'm just kind of making up this exposure here. Um, minimum exposure, Dorn and the captain. Well, let's say 20, 25 with all oh, 30%. Okay, 30% in the captain, Dorn. Okay. Well, it's not even, it doesn't even like that. So it what that means is that that's probably going to be pretty low owned. So let let's let's rebuild these. And this is going to be our theme is Dorn and the captain. You know, if he has a big, big series, then we're going to have a shot. But you see what happened, right? So when when I try to put Doran in the captain, it it wouldn't even let me. Um, it, that's how unlikely it, it it looks. You know, when you're just running the projections for Doran to show up in, in the captain, but we just have this, you know, this idea that he always seems to do well. So we are going to put him in the captain in 30% of our lineups. So we're going to have to kind of rerun them from scratch. And as I mentioned, uh, let's take a look at the geo mean stuff and see what we would need. What did we say? 1500 people. I mean, it's 1568. Was it or 11, 1200, something like that. Let's just put in 1200 just to see what that would give us. So that's 1176. I think that's right. So if we were going to go for one dupe, it would be about 30, 30.77. And we, I think we can do that. All right. So let's now run the Sims. Hold, hold one second. All right. And then let's see what this looks like. So here we're getting 30% Doran in the captain, then 27% Showmaker in the captain. So basically what this is doing is 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 restricting, you know, like if, if it's not going to be Doran, then DK is going to be the highest scorer pretty much. Because there's Zika also, but we're not getting, you know, um, aiming peanut. These are guys that usually show up in the captain. So this is going to make things a little bit different. So I think that we can probably go with this um, with respect to your, your, your stacks because, or if we want to get really green, we can only play Doran and the captain. Let's just take a look and see what this is. So this is going to give me a hundred percent how my life, then 80% DK, but the difference is going to be 30% with, with Doran and the captain. And for stack exposure, see, I don't want four twos here. If I'm going to put, Let's see what some of these four twos look like. Well, I guess these are okay. Like if, if Fox and, and, and DK just kind of have a wild affair, these are the kind of results that you're going to get. So all these are, see, here's a clear one-off. This is Fear X one-off in the captain. This is another clear one-off. This one is a, a Duro one-off. 
it's another clear one off. So clear in the cat clear is 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 kind of like the one off that you'd be getting here. Um, so that is definitely something you can do, you know, if you don't want to go for kind of other teams here. Um, but you are, I don't want to get too duped. So we, I do want to at least do something with this geo mean. And, and I think we could get away with this by doing a geo mean of 30.77. So let's do that. Uh, add filter geo mean less than. 30 points. I just don't want the, the the most duped lineups. Okay. We can we can deal with a couple. I just don't want the the, the worst of them. Okay. So let's just see what this looks like, by the way. Um it's still almost all Hanwa Life and 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 Donwa Kia. Um but what else what else am I gonna do? Uh one thing I will say is that this there's no way that these are gonna have less than one dupe. Or less than five dupes. I mean, how many people are in this tournament? Let's just see something. It's actually it's 1568. All right. So let's that does change things a little bit. So at 1568 entries. So now we need a 29.3. So that's okay. So that's gonna do a little something different. I, I would think. So let's see, less than 29.3. That'll chop off some of these others. And now we're gonna be getting still. I'm alive with 100% uh, with DK and then Fox. Uh, stack exposure, we are getting six, four twos. As far as four mans, uh, mostly DK actually. Okay, so that's a little different. And then followed by I'm alive next, followed by Fox. Okay, so that's fair enough. So we don't have any Don, we don't have any Breon, but that's all right. And then again, a priest is pre presuming that in the captain position, we do have, yeah, 30% Doran and also the 30% Zika, and then kind of a whole bunch of other stuff. So I think I kind of like this. It's not as aggressive as I have been, but I still think it's fine. All right, so let's put this in the Shock Blast thusly, and we'll take a look at the Triumphant Warrior. And again, this is going to be just a battle of getting something unique here. Um, okay, so this is all right. I mean, like, if you want to play four-man DK, I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, or you could play this funky one where you have Zika, Peanut, and Hanwha Life, and then DK and the other four. But I do think I want to make sure I have the Doran, don't I? So maybe something like this. You put Doran here in the top, and then this fork, this, this four three with Showmaker in the captain. Okay, I think this is the one. So let's put this one in. So we are going to have DK and HLE, but it's going to be DK four man. And we're going to keep Doran because we like him. And and there's that. So let's uh get rid of this guy. Let's get rid of this guy. And is this what we want? One, two, three, four. Yep. So let's uh save this one. into the triumphant warrior and we'll enter these and we should be good so let's again remind you remind everybody what to root for here and again you have to see what the lineups are to really get this so we'll have to kind of update this if i can you know it depends when i get up i guess um if i have time but once again it's a hundred percent HLE, but just as much DK in the four as four mans as anything. And some kind of funky you know, one-offs. You can root for a little bit of more clear. You can root for certainly a little more Doran and uh, and hope you get lucky. So that'll do it. Uh good luck, everybody. And I'll be posting this wait right at about four. Is that right? Yeah, about four a.m.